In this lesson, we're gonna take a look at the Serato DJ Lite browser. This is where you're gonna find your music and your playlists known as crates. Let's get to it. As mentioned in the last video, the browser is at the bottom half of your screen. The browser is split into two parts. The big portion here in the middle is where you'll find your actual tracks. And this on the left shows you your playlists, which are called crates in Serato DJ. You'll also find the iTunes icon over here, which lets you access your iTunes library. This means that all your iTunes playlists and music will be accessible from within the Serato DJ browser. We recommend using iTunes to organize your DJ library, and we'll get to that in a later video in this module. Okay, now let's try loading a tune into the deck. All I need to do is to go to the browser, click on iTunes, pick a playlist, say this one over here, click on a song, and then click and drag it over onto the left deck here on the upper left of the screen. Cool, now let's try loading a track over onto the right deck. This time, I'll pick a song from a Serato crate. To do that, I'll scroll through my browser. I'll pick out a crate. I'll choose a song. Click and drag it over onto the deck on the right. Before we end, let's take a look at some controls here. This icon lets you add a crate or a playlist in the browser. Left click on that, you're going to find the crate over here at the very, very bottom. Now files over here lets you access your hard drive if you want to look for tunes in a folder, kind of like Finder or Windows Explorer. Want to do that. Finally, Prepare lets you create a quick on the fly list of tunes when you're just picking out tracks to drop before a set. It's a bit like a vinyl DJ flicking through his or her box and pulling a few tracks half out to play soon. So, what you can do is you can click, drag. Let's say you're at a wedding and you're just getting a feel for the crowd. You can look for tunes and put it in the Prepare playlist and automatically you've got these songs that you can just drop whenever you want. And you don't need to create a new crate just for these. Now I want you to fire up Serato DJ Lite and explore the browser. In the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how to set up iTunes as your DJ library management software because it's one of the best ways to keep your library organized. I'll see you then.